Hey guys, welcome back. You saw us last month do a bit of an update, a bit of games we play, games we picked up. Gadgets. Gadgets. Yep. We're back again this month to do the same thing. We have a little bit of extra stuff. Yep. Uh, some things we're gonna do in the future. So get ready, here we go. All right, so here we are. Um, we don't have a whole lot of pickups because we already mentioned a bunch of them. We got VR, we got a few VR games. We did get a few VR games. We, we got, got some stuff on Amazon. You guys want to yeah. go check out that video? I think we, we got did all that stuff. So you guys have all seen all that, but there are a couple of things that I picked up or have come in the mail that I hadn't mentioned before yes. a whole lot. Uh, the first one I'm going to take out right now is something that's near and dear to my heart. It is Jackal. It's yep. a box copy. It's not sealed. It's not in perfect condition by any means, but just to have a boxed complete copy of this game is special to me because yeah. this is literally the first game I ever had. Pretty mm -hmm. happy. Um, if there's ever another copy that comes up that's in better condition, I'll probably trade up. Yeah. Trade in on it. For a... Is it an expensive game, complete mm, box? No. No, not no. overly, but no, it's, no. it's sentimental it's value. It's sentimental to, to me because uh, just boxed NES games in our area are hard to come by. Are hard to come by. Yep. Now, now, don't be jealous of this next game if you don't have yours in the mail yet. No, you guys all got it, but I no, I, I see a few people really? that haven't gotten theirs yet. All right, it is Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Yours is coming. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Cause my disc is loose. Yeah. Are we planning on opening this? Yeah. Okay, I know we. I know yeah. we have the digital one, so I just wasn't sure. <laughs> all right, I won't open it now. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the open comments. Open it. Don't open it. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So the next thing we got in the mail is going to be part of the collab with another YouTube yes. channel. With Telesplash. Yep. Um, he sent us a message and asked, do you want to be frustrated for two weeks? And I'm like, boy, do I ever. <laughs> oh, tell me well. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> yeah. So the concept is he sent games out to five different YouTubers and $20 up. US. Well, so basically, addresses. yeah. So basically <laughs> we're going to retire if we win. <gasps> But as soon as we yeah. put it in the machine, we have two weeks. Okay, so, so you're I'm gonna starting say it tomorrow. You're going to say tomorrow. Yeah, so let's see what we have. Well, we know what we have. Let, let we us show you guys we'll, what we have. We'll put a link in the description yeah. for the video that he put out for everybody that's going to yeah, be involved. Yeah, and I'm going to put out, yeah. And they're not all the same games. What is there, three channels? There's five different five channels, channels, and there's a few different games between channels. <gasps> Retirement fund! Oh... So here we go. We have it is the Super Empire Strikes Back on the Super Nintendo. I have a thought. Dennis, I know Dennis has beaten it. And would you guys think that Dennis is part of Retro Rivals? Can Dennis? Can Dennis do it? Either way, if I can't beat this or she can't beat it, we're gonna send we it out. Will. But I'm gonna see we before we send it out. I'm gonna see if Dennis can beat it, and then we'll send it out. So yeah, and along with this twenty twenty. That's like $140 Canadian. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is very cool. Those are the awesome. Telesplash Gaming kind of a protective sleeve. I love it. Yeah, it is really cool. So now that we have that out of the way, we're going to move on to the games we played this month. And I'm going to go first. We have Uncharted 4. I have played through the first three, obviously. I mean, it's not obviously. You could start at four, I guess. Up until I had played this one, this? two was my favorite, and oh. now I think four is my favorite. Really? Yes. It. Uh, there was just more to the story. What I have read too was Naughty Dog really upped their game when they made this one. They were more concerned about story at that point. Okay. And it was obvious to me when we got here. Like you had more backstory. It just it pulled you in a little bit more. Um, I think they had improved upon the gameplay in three, so that was obvious in this, uh, in the fourth one as well. Just a phenomenal game. You get to, there's more character reveals in this one. New characters. You don't, you always play as Nathan Drake, but you get a new character in this one too. So I really, really enjoyed it, and I look forward to playing the other two. Oh, so there's two more in the two, series. Two more. We have Lost Legacy and uh, Golden Abyss. 
So this one here is my play. Your and play. It is Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8 on yes. PS5. Um, you'll hear a lot of people give their reviews and stuff yep. and tell you how amazing it is. It is their new favorite or whatever. It was really good. It was really good. It was really good. But it's not my favorite. No. No. And, and I think you would have appreciated it more had you played 4. I really, Possibly. really do. Because that's... The only ones I haven't played in the main storyline is 1, 4. I know. That's it. Graphics are really good. Story's pretty good. Boss is pretty good. The thing that got me on this game that really let me down was I compared it to Biohazard, especially where it's yeah. a first person view. Biohazard was way scarier. Way scarier. This, not, not scary, scary at all. I think I might have jumped a couple times, but I get yep. scared easily. Yep. And even saying that, I, I wouldn't have been like afraid to play this one. Yeah, and you didn't find it scary. No. So, I don't, not to give too much no. advice. So creepy. A little, a little creepy. Creepy. Not scary. Creepy. So I think Capcom listened to the critics from number seven, Biohazard, and a lot of people said it was too scary for them. Yeah. So they bumped that way down. They bumped the scare down. It is a really good game. It is a good game, but it... But I was hoping for that yeah. brown pants kind of game. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't. All right. The next game is my game, and Two I... Two games. I did play both of them. They're not long games. You're looking at four to six hours, maybe even not that much. Uh, we have Inside and we have Limbo. Um, they were both creepy. Uh, I would compare them to Little Nightmares, kind of, not as graphically enhanced as, as Little Nightmares. Limbo was... They're both kind of an indie style game. Uh, yeah. yeah. Limbo was creepy. Inside was mind, like, boggling, freaky, kind of... I don't know. It took psychologically, psychologically, just took it a little bit further. Um, I would highly recommend both of these games. Um, and yeah, if you've played a Little Nightmares game, this is exactly what you're doing. It's just a puzzle platformer and with a good creepy ambiance. So great game, both of them. This game I played because uh, Eric on level 857 yep. told me I had to play. So no, you gotta play it. And I'm like, okay, all right. This is a, I said, I told, the next day after our live stream, I told Jen, I said, okay, I'm gonna play it then. Yes. And uh, damn, I'm glad I did because the story is really good. Oh yeah. The the graphics I like because it's that cell shaded graphics yeah. that are gonna hold up for a long time. Yeah. The combat's excellent. Um, now the combat it's different because yes. you're controlling your character, also you're controlling a legion. And when I saw you playing that, I was like, "Good lord, that's got to be challenging." Because yeah. I just looked at it give and it, I thought, "There's no way." Give the game a couple hours. Yeah. And then once you get into that, it's cool. It's really cool because you ended up having to go and collect all these all legions. The legions. There's five yeah. different legions, and they all have different powers, and you need every one of them to be able to do certain things. It's longer than I expected it to be. It was over 25 hours. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But I just remember coming back, coming down and asking you, because we were trying to, he was trying to get it done so we could yep. film this video, and I said, do you think you'll be done today? And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be done today. And you weren't done. <laughs> I wasn't done. It was like, no, it was the next day, like mid-afternoon, yeah. I think, yeah. and you got it done. When I thought, time. I was like, yeah, I'll finish it today. I, I think I put another 10 hours into it yeah. before I got it. Yeah. The last chapter was actually the boss fight. Yeah. It's like incredible. Oh, wow. I didn't get to see it. Oh, yeah. It reminded me a lot of when I played Parasite Eve. Oh. And the final boss kind of keeps, there's like evolutions. Oh, okay. It keeps, yeah. I, like I can't recommend it enough. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. It's a 10 out of 10 game for me. I have half a mind to play it. I. And do you think I would enjoy it? I, if you give your. Because I know it's not really your genre. Yeah. Give it at least three, four hours, and I think you'll be into you'll it. Think I think home. I think you'll be into it. Okay. I think you'll like it. I'll, I would recommend it, it to might, anybody. I might have to try it. I would recommend it to anybody. I am just hoping that they come out with a sequel. I bet. 
this would you be really in my it. be in my top ten for now. Really? Oh yeah, wow. for sure. Wow. On the Wii, we have <gasps> Pirates Plunder. I feel like we've been playing this game for months. This literally. is a long game. It, it is? is a challenging, it a is. challenging game. It's it's a beat 'em up style, very similar to Castle Crashers. Yes, it is. But it's you're really pirates is. and. There's a lot of cool aspects to the game, like especially for each individual character you yep. pick, you can have two weapons. I know, it's cool. But when you're upgrading your character, you have every weapon that you can actually obtain in the game. Yeah. So you can choose which ones to upgrade it. Like if I like guns and swords, that's what I'm going to upgrade first. Yeah. But by the time we got to the end of the game, I had every every weapon maxed out. So and same I, here. Whatever my character would grab at that point, I was completely maxed out. Now, you and I started playing this game together. We started it, and I'm telling you, with just two people, it, it was, challenging. was challenging. It was really challenging. So then we had friends come over, yep. Mitch and Kate. They so played had, for a bit with us. We had four at that point, four. and we were still having hard times with some of the bosses. Yep. It was like, holy crap. There was one boss in particular that night there where we were all just like... And then we played the second half of the game I think, with we Dennis. We tagged so Dennis in. Three of us were in there, and the last boss, me and Dennis were ready to quit. They almost fucking gave up on we me. We almost quit. It they was like, we. I was like, holy hell, I don't know what... And I was determined I was not going to go to sleep that night if it meant staying up all night and finishing this game. And Dennis had the shittiest weapons. Oh my god, <laughs> I swear terrible. it made the game more difficult. Yeah. That stupid weapon and he this insisted big, on using it. That big cannon like on the pirate ship there, the big cannon with a cannonball. And he kept using it, but every time he used it, it would explode the enemies, but it would also knock us down. And yeah. then we get boot fucked by the rest of the enemies there. So there was no winning with that weapon yeah. but yeah this is there's definitely a lot of strategy involved yeah. with this game you need to be working as a team it, oh yes it is a team game it's difficult but really fun really fun i really highly fun. recommend it that would be that's that's a hidden gem right it there. is okay these next two games are not necessarily co-op games but no. because we passed off the vr Yep. And shared the COVID. We, no one has COVID, but you know, we, we were all touching the same stuff. We played this all three of us, even four of us. Alex got involved in this one. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fun because when you first start your VR, you're getting into your VR. It, some games can make you a little nauseous, so yeah. it's good to tag out every 20 minutes, every yeah. 30 minutes or so you can get, and get used to perfect, it. And this is a perfect so game for Astro me. Bot Rescue Mission. <gasps> Phenomenal. I, when awesome. we played through Astrobot on the awesome. PS5, I was like, this is a phenomenal game. Mario, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. <laughs> but Astrobot in VR, holy oh, shit. Oh, man. So much fun. Man, that was so fun. And we, we finished it off. And yep. I don't know if we got 100% of everything. I don't know that we got 100% of everything, but we came close. Oh, I think we... We came awful close. There might, I don't. I might be only missing one that or two guys in the whole boss, game. That last boss nearly made you lose your mind. No, I didn't play the last boss. Who played the last? Mitch. Oh. Mitch almost lost yes, his mind. Yes, Mitch almost lost yeah. his mind. Yes, yeah. we did let him play. And Mitch is afraid of deep water sharks. <laughs> and of <laughs> course, that's what the last boss is. So yeah. it was hilarious. The first time it came at him, <laughs> he jumped, and I was like, "This is the best day ever." <laughs> It's so much fun to see your friends it's, struggle. Oh. And speaking of struggle and being scared, let's bring out this next game that we oh. played as a group. And it's awesome. And I love it. And this it'll be the best. This game is phenomenal. It's cheap. Oh my god. 15 bucks. It'll be the best 15 bucks best you've ever spent. Wear your brown pants <laughs> because you're going to need them. Holy jumpins. I don't get easy. scared. I don't get scared. And I nearly fell off the chair a couple times. Yep. The games like that don't usually scare me, but I I was the first one to play it, and I think I played through the first three levels, Yeah. and they gradually work you up there. And then once that one big jump scare got me, I didn't have time to calm back down. No, you don't. And so I was just, you guys, it was you watching, and Dennis. You, just watching you play You and that. Dennis were like, oh, I don't think I want to play it. Well, we were watching Scott <laughs> play it, and he doesn't get scared of many things. I nearly shit myself a couple times. Terrifying, but you know what? Yeah. In actuality, it actually helped because I was like, yeah. here we go. So once you see it, you know what's coming, and it's not the best. See, I. It's not even. It's not even the seeing it coming. That did help. Yeah. But it's knowing how 
scared you were when you first put it on <laughs> that I expect it way worse. And when I got oh, in there, hey, it's like, I raised okay. it up too high. <laughs> yes. Your expectation is too high. Oh, but there's it, one part that I know what got me when it got me is there's one part and it's like a looks, she's like a young woman or like a teenage girl or whatever. It looks a ghost or whatever. And she goes across the screen and you're, <laughs> you're basically and playing hide and go see. Yeah, you got flashlights on, on with your gun, so you gotta look. And then you hear over here, and you gotta look over here, and then you hear something right here. And so you turn around to expect to see her over there. And as soon as I turn around, there's these two ghost girls right in your face, scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah. And we think they're from the Until Dawn game. Oh yeah, it's the definitely. Two sisters, right? It's the two sisters yeah, from I Until Dawn. Thought that was awesome. Yeah. Well, because it's Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. We're almost at the end. So We're almost at the end. So many. Jump scares. I can only jump scares galore in this game. Now, I uh, it does scare me, but I'm not too scared that I don't. Yeah. It, it's the <laughs> roller coaster. Yeah, oh, you're in a fuck. roller coaster. Like everybody I that played this game, we all watch them and we see it on the screen and they're hitting that roller coaster and they all do this. Oh yeah. I'm like Whoa. It's hard to tell yourself <laughs> that you're really not on a roller coaster. <laughs> I know the first time you I played it, it, I was like, don't let me fall off, don't let me fall off. <laughs> you feel it. Yeah. It's awesome. The VR has been a hell of a good oh, toy. Oh, I'm all in on VR games now. Holy I'm just smokes. buying them all. Oh, yeah. Buying I'm going to have my heart attack this year for sure. <laughs> now, we do have one more game to talk about, but I didn't play it. Scott played it with Alex. So we are going to switch locations again, and Alex and Scott are going to talk about a game they played together. All right, here we are. We're at the, we're on the couch's corner. Yeah. Do you know why I call it the couch's corner? Well, because catch in the corner. No. It's a play on words because of Hockey Night in Canada. Or in Canada. Coach's Corner. There you go. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Can you do, do you know the theme song? I don't know the theme song. Come on. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? All right, so today we're going to talk about Fear 3. We played it on our Xbox upstairs. 360 upstairs. We played it co-op, couch co-op style, so split screen. The split screen wasn't down the middle. It uh, It's a little bit, I don't know what they're called, but it has like uh, two squares, a little offside. It know? does keep the regular aspect ratio, which yep. is why they do it, because otherwise it stretches it out. Then. Yeah. And yeah. it kind of funky. Yeah. The story, we don't know a whole lot about the story, because we never played the first confusing. two. Well, we, it's confusing. Well, it might be confusing, because we never played the first two. It's also but, just kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's good. Because <laughs> you start off, I think, I think it's in a prison, possibly yes, a, a an prison. asylum, but it looks like a prison. So you're breaking out of prison. Now, there's two characters. Your name is Fettel. Fettel, which is like a ghost, ghostly apparition that I think only I can see, right? I uh, know, because everyone else shoots at me. Well, so. that makes sense, yeah. And then my guy is Point Man. They didn't give him a name. I don't know if I had a name. It's just Point Man, which is basically the Call of Duty shooter guy just running around grabbing guns. Typical shooter, first-person shooter. Does not speak. I wanted, to, I wanted to talk about the great voice acting and have your mother try and find my character. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's shaking her head over there. He never <laughs> speaks. We laughed. It was a. Uh, I said speaks. that when we were playing it. I'm like, I want to. I want to talk about the, you know, incredible voice acting, especially with Point Man. Yeah. And then we're gonna wait for your mother to try to find it. What's weird is, is Fettel talks. He talks. He a never lot. stops talking. Yeah. It's like he's the wife of the relationship. Yeah. Mom, how do you feel over there? <laughs> Attack. <laughs> yeah. Graphically, it's not bad. I mean, it's a 360 game. Yeah, it's starting to age, yeah. but it kind of holds up for what it is. Oh yeah, the gameplay is, is pretty good. The gameplay is pretty fun. I know Point Man, was, like I said, it's that typical Call of Duty run and gun there, first person shooter aspect. Now your character looked cool. I never got a chance to play, but you had all these different abilities. Yeah, honestly, I think they could have, because I assume when you're in single player mode, you mainly play as Point Man. I think so. Now, when I was reading the, um, like, IGN re reviews and stuff, they actually suggested to play it single player through the campaign first, because you would enjoy the campaign more, because it's more difficult, and it would take you longer to play through. And then once you play through it that way, you unlock the ability to play as Fettel, I think, if I remember uh -huh. correctly. Now, Fettel is fun. They play, do, I mean. yeah, and they do say that <laughs> when you play it 
uh, like a co-op split screen like we, we did that you actually blow through the game a lot faster and we did we, we got only took it. like six seven hours oh maybe. it wasn't even that the fun part of playing a couch co-op is mm -hmm. the two different characters now at the end of the game right before you see the final scene because there's two different endings you get graded on each stage and whoever gets the most points per stage yeah wins that stage and at the end of the game it does a tally of who won and then you get that person's <laughs> ending and yeah. by the way your ending was messed up oh yeah <laughs> your your ending was took over my character yeah basically just yeah. it killed you in my own fun way yeah and i'm not worried about ruining endings here because this game's been in forever there's a, a baby demon, I'm going to call it a demon baby coming out yeah, there. You said this story was confusing. Yeah, it was so. weird, yeah. Don't blame us. So, he basically take, you know, gives, takes the baby from the mother and says, Mother, I have one more thing I got to do. And then it basically just mutilates. Just, you don't see it, but you just see blood. It was terrible. Your mother's cringing over there. Kills, kills the mother? Yes. Oh, I wasn't sure if you meant killed the mother or killed the baby. No, kept the baby because it, it keeps the baby basically. I think he's going to use it as a weapon or possibly as a vessel for himself later on. Like, the story was confusing, but it was cool. Yeah. Now, no, no. we had to go look up my ending for Point Man, which was a lot better. And, but not uh, good either, though, really. Yeah, not that good either. It's a lot simpler. <laughs> More humanitarian. More, more humanitarian. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. And he doesn't even have anything to say either. And he takes and he the just baby. walks off. I got the baby. <laughs> <laughs> the ending, it was a messed up game. It was, it was ridiculous. On, all right, so on the fun level. Oh, from, uh, at oh a 10, it was fun. At a 10. It was I, so fun. I had a blast. Now, I would. it was a 9 out of 10 easily for fun. Because oh. we were playing a couch co-op. Now, if I had played it single player first, I don't know if I would have made it through the game. Mm -hmm. Graphically, yeah, let's say about seven. It's a 360 game. It's yeah. it's, it's expected. They they aren't it's they aged. didn't age that bad. Yeah. I think anything past Xbox isn't aged that yeah. bad. Sound. I don't know. You don't even pay attention. I don't think anyone cares. I thought it was pretty cool. Like they, there were eerie sounds that they did add to it when we we're in certain yes. areas. Like the the prison at first was kind of. It was almost too much because you had sirens going off and everything, and then we went down in the sewers at one part and it had different sounds there. Like it, it was, uh, it was not bad for sounds. Yeah. Um, gameplay. I had no problem There's at all with gameplay. There's one part where I really loved, where you you get in the mech. Oh yeah, and we're running through buildings basically. Yes. That was wow. Awesome. I wasn't able to. You're kind of safeguarding me because I couldn't get a mech because yeah. I'm a ghost. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah, we get this great big mech. And I'm basically just running through the buildings and killing guys there. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like something there. I, I can't remember the name of it, but the the thing on RoboCop. You don't even know what that is. Yeah, why would I? Where did I go wrong? <laughs> so many places. <laughs> Mom will pop a picture up, and then when you don't watch the video, you won't know. Okay. <laughs> 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 hmm. Definitely worth the playthrough. I'd say so. I'd say so, yeah. And what's our game Assuming for? you have a friend to play it with. I don't, so I had to get my son. Yeah. <laughs> he wrote me into this. I didn't want to play it. You liked it, I'm so. I'm just kidding. Now we're actually playing another game. It'll be on next month's video. Indeed. Are we going to say it? Yeah, I want to say it. Okay, it's the first Gears of War. Yeah. It's very buggy. Yeah, yeah. we'll get into that in the next video. Okay, so now that we went through all the games we played this month, we want to talk to you about a few announcements and get your input on a few things. So what do we have up next? So I wanted to do something different. We have our live stream, yeah. Get to Know Gamer, and it's, it seems to be fairly popular with the community. People are really People enjoying it. People have been asking us, why are you not playing more games? Yes. Yes. And this is what I want to do. And I've asked a couple of my friends and see what they think. But what I want to do is I want to do, and we're going to call it Afternoon Arcade, where we're going to, it, once a month, we'll see how it goes, maybe more, yeah. where we'll pick a Saturday afternoon that isn't going to conf, uh, conflict, conflict with, our get -to -know with the Get to Know Gamer. I'm going to take the Pandora's box out, and I'm going to have already have a couple of games pre-picked of what I'm going to play. Yeah. But then we want people in the chat to... Uh, tell us uh, or suggestions on games 
does it have this game? Yeah. Does it have that game? And then we'll we'll look it up in there because there's like exactly. close to 2,500 games on it. But we also have another way of playing arcade games. We do. Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, and I feel so bad because Tech Buzz it sent, sent it to it us. To us. Yeah. yeah. We have the Legends Core streaming arcade console from At Games. From At Games. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. I think it has a hundred built-in games. I yep. don't know if you can buy other games or how it really works. We never plugged it in. He we, sent yeah. this to us a couple months ago. I know, and I feel so bad <laughs> we haven't, yeah. haven't had a chance to... But this is another option to play some it. old school arcade games yeah. and just sit down and be able to talk with the community and just have fun. We're just gonna, all about having fun and trying some new games. Yeah, and that's the focus because sometimes when we want to stream live stream games, I think in the past we had picked games we were really interested in playing, yep. so the focus was too much on the game and less on the chat. Me, we my, want to be able to talk yeah, at the same time. My problem when I game is I need normally like game alone, so I'm so hyper focused on what I'm doing on the screen. Yeah. I, I I'm not a streamer really. No. Nope. So, but we're gonna try to get into more streaming there, and I think doing it as an arcade gives kinda, it a different little something else. Yeah. yeah. And we also have uh, something we want to do for the community posts. Yeah, so we're going to take advantage of the YouTube community post and instead of us telling you what games we're going to play this month, we're going to ask you and give you a pick. He's going to have four games to pick from. I have four from. games, yeah. I have three games to pick from and what we're going to do is put a community post. So as you're seeing this video right now, we have also created that community post for Scott's games. You're gonna get four <laughs> days to vote on it. Four. And Let me tell you something right now. I picked four dingers. Good luck trying to pick one. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. couldn't pick one. Now, my whole inspiration for this was because I played through Astral Chain and I loved it. it it's amazing. Yeah. Um, and it was a suggested by uh, Level 8, uh, five, seven, 7, Eric. And they were coerced by RetroWolf yeah. to play. Yeah, so it, maybe I wouldn't have even touched it this year because I have such a backlog. But I said, no, I have to do it. I yes. have to play it. And wow. So, I need your help. Yes. Now Help me pick the best game. That's exactly it. Now, my three games are, are a little bit... One of them is inspired by what the community had mentioned for me to play. So... That might give you guys a bit of a hint, but four days after his post, I will put out my post. You guys can pick my next game and I'll commit to playing that game for the month. And if I have more time, maybe I play more, but I'm currently also playing. Uh, We're always playing games other than that. Yes, so. I'm not taking <laughs> enough advantage of playing the DS and I have decided to start Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. I'm it, hooked. It is, nah, it is I'm hooked. <laughs> and I'm like, I said to Scott, you do realize that yeah, now I need the rest of them. And, this, oh. this is part of my master plan. I wanted the other two, but they're expensive as old heck. And I, I was like, know. hey, maybe you should try this game. Thank God that's the first <laughs> like, one. What are you buying? No, what are you selling? <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm about a quarter of the way through the game and I'm addicted. I don't even want to be doing this video right now because I want to be playing that game. But Ooh. I love you guys too, so I'm here. <laughs> I just want to be playing my game. It's a great game. You should pick it up. All right, so that was June. Yeah. And we had a hell of a lot of fun. Played a lot of games. A lot of games. I want to keep on going and play a lot more games. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think there. Do you like this kind of thing? Do you like the, the once a month kind of update? You know, I kind of, because when we put out videos, you don't really get to see everything we do. Like, yeah. we play games all the time. Like, you play handhelds and stuff. Like, you know, there's always games. And sometimes we get to mention them on uh, on a live stream. Yeah, exactly. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, game on. I don't have a beer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>